I was looking less for someone to be a, like a carbon copy of Kit um, as someone who just had chemistry with Jim. You know, someone where you could believe that these two people were in love. So to me, that was m more important than anything. Um, and we hit the jackpot with uh, Ben Aldridge. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for like sharing your story with us. Um, you know, this year feels like another big one for mainstream queer films from like Fire Island to Bros, The Inspection. So like, what is it like to be a part of that, especially with a story that's so personal? It's incredibly exciting. You know, it's, it's so much, uh, so much of this is about visibility and, and people, gay, LGBTQ plus people telling their stories and sharing their stories. So to see such a variety and such a diversity of stories, uh, it's, it's wonderful. With this film too, I, you know, Jim and Ben are so great. And so I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the casting process for the film. Jim mentioned you guys did like a, a reading together. So how involved were you in that? And what was it like to see them bring your story to life? Well, Jim, you know, very early on in the process, because he was the one who optioned the book, um, it was very clear that he was going to star in it and that he was going to play me. So really, a lot of the attention was who was going to be Kit, you know, and there were a lot of conversations about who that would be. Um, my, my feeling always was about I, it, it needed to be, I was looking less for someone to be a, like a carbon copy of Kit um, as someone who just had chemistry with Jim. You know, someone where you could believe that these two people were in love. So to me, that was m more important than anything. Um, and we hit the jackpot with uh, Ben Aldridge. I know we saw it in the trailer, but one of my favorite uh, moments had to be like the full Smurf scene. So I was genuinely curious. Was it really, did you have that much Smurf memorabilia in your apartment? Well, I'd first like to mention that is actually my collection in the, in, in the scene. Um, uh, and it's only a fraction of my collection. It's actually much bigger than that. Uh, and, and, and it is pretty close to what it was like. I, I would, I would say that in the movie, there's a, it, they take a little bit of dramatic license in terms of, you know, over smurf, smurf, smurfifying the, the, the apartment. I didn't quite have that many on display at the time, but there, you know, there, there were enough on display that it caused a bit of a crisis in our relationship. Um, and, and it was actually a, a, an emotional turning point. And obviously the, the, the movie and the book gets into the fact that it, it really isn't just about Smurfs. It's just about showing your authentic true self to someone else and what that means. As I said, you know, it's a, such a special film, your first as executive producer. So do you have any plans to continue kind of bringing important stories like this to the screen, whether it be on television, film? Yeah, I mean, my focus right now is is this movie, but I absolutely want to tell more stories. I have more stories to tell. And the question is, you know, where and how that is, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh and I'm excited to sort of tackle it. That is all I have today, but I just want to thank you for your time. And again, thank you for the film. I loved it so much. Thank you so much.